Hey, how's it going? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I have something very special for you. Those of you who follow me on my Instagram may have already seen it. Earlier this week, I received a very, very special item, a piece of BMX history. Matt Hoffman's personal 1991 Haro Air Master. Here it is. This is the frame that Matt uh, rode in hat first. So when uh, he and Eddie Roman were filming for the now iconic uh, movie hat first, this is what he was riding. Um, at that time, Matt was riding for Haro and uh, this was before, right before he um, started his own company, Hoffman Bikes. And uh, yeah, so I can't really explain how special this is because the Hat First was one of the first uh, BMX um, videos I bought and uh, it blew my mind. Me and my buddy, we watch it all the time and then go ride. And I remember we would quote Matt's uh, silly jokes. And uh, yeah, Matt uh, and also Eddie Roman with his filming, editing, um, definitely raised the bar. Um, not only did Matt um, do incredible things on ramps, he also um, rode street in this video and he was the first guy to do big handrails down the stairs. And uh, yes, he did it on this frame. Uh, you can see he signed it here and he actually gave this to a friend of his uh, more than 30 years ago right after um, they were done filming and um, before he started Hoffman Bikes and uh, yeah his friend uh, kept this 30 years took good care of it and now earlier um, this week or last week he sent it over to me and uh, I'm extremely stoked obviously this is one of the most special things I have in my collection now and uh, very thankful to be a caretaker of it and uh, yeah this is pretty cool also very heavy obviously because of all these extra tubes here this was a time when built-in bash guards were a thing. Um, the horror frames at these bash guards, but also the bully frames, the Wilkinson airline frames, and probably some other frames. Um, so it's pretty heavy. This is a plastic bash guard. And um, yeah, you can uh, see Matt Ryan this frame in the video at first. Um, which has to be one of the most significant BMX videos ever um, because of the reasons I've just um, mentioned. And uh, yeah, it can also be seen in various um, magazines and other um, little videos and stuff. Um, I've been uh, going through some old BMX Plus issues and here's Matt riding this exact frame. You can tell by these the stickers on the bash guard that it's the same frame. This is from uh, December 1999. The photos probably taken a little bit earlier. And uh, this also m might be the frame that Matt Hoffman road when he jumped over the burning cars for the TV show Stunt Masters. You might remember this. I think it's on YouTube but in bad quality but this is from January 1992. And uh, yeah, it's pretty uh, pretty crazy to think that what he what Matt did on this frame and how he changed BMX and also how, in a way, it started mid-school because 
all these horror frames could not withstand Matt's writing. You know, they would eventually break, especially forks. I think Matt mentioned that he broke a lot of forks and basically got tired of risking his life, basically. So that's when he decided to build his own frames and start the Hoffman bikes, which one could argue that it marks the beginning of mid-school. Yeah, um, that's about it for today. I'm stoked about this. Let me know what you think. Let me know whether you uh, watched the Hatfers too. Um, whether you liked it as much as I did. Probably, yeah. And if you have any memories of Matt writing this frame, let me know in the comments. And see you next time.